Hey everyone, welcome back to LT Gaming. My name is Tom, and today we've got something special on the menu for you. We're looking at the sequel to the game that's practically become part of my gaming DNA. I'm talking about that absolutely stellar hit from Supergiant Games in 2018 that took the world by storm and ate up many, many of my hours. That is Hades. I don't know about you, but Hades was one of those games that I just couldn't get enough of. The entrancing story, the delightful gameplay, and the depth that always seemed to get deeper and deeper as I made more runs. It had it all. And now we're on the brink of something new this year, something extremely exciting, and that is Hades 2. Today I'm going to dive into everything we know about the sequel, we'll dissect it, scrutinise it, and see if it can match the original's freshness. We're on a mission to see if it carries the torch of that story and that delightful gameplay I've mentioned that we all fell in love with initially. So let's strap ourselves in and embark on this journey to uncover if Hades 2 can live up to the legacy of its predecessor. Now before we dive into the sequel, let's take a moment to revisit the phenomenal journey that was the original Hades. Released in 2018, this game took the world by storm. In Hades you stepped into the sandals of Zagreus, the prince of the underworld. His mission to escape the clutches of his unloving father, Hades and reach his mother Persephone in the mortal world. The storyline was a masterclass in narrative design, making me feel everything from anger to deep sadness. It was without a doubt the most engaging roguelike storyline I'd had ever experienced. What set Hades apart and made it an absolute hit were its key features. Firstly, the game's beautiful adaptation of Greek mythology. It wasn't just a game, it was a journey through the rich tapestry of Greek myths, something I grew up with as a kid. A journey that really spoke to me, and I'm sure it did to many others as well. And then there was the gameplay. Stellar doesn't even begin to cover it. With every escape attempt, you discovered new depths and complexities to what was possible with builds and strategies. It was a gameplay experience that kept evolving, always offering something new to master. But it didn't stop there. Hades had a robust post-game that offered even more reasons to keep playing with this entrancing mix of RPG and action combat. So the journey didn't end with escaping the underworld, it was just the beginning of this cycle of discovery and challenges. So it was an emotional roller coaster, a test of skill and an exploration of Greek mythology like never experienced before. So can Hades 2 carry that torch forward? Or was it a flash in a pan, a once in a lifetime style game? Now let's unravel the mysteries surrounding the setting and story of Hades 2. This time we won't be following in Zagreus' footsteps, but rather we're stepping into the shoes of Melanoi, the princess of the underworld and sister of Zagreus. Melanoi is on a mission of her own to defeat Kronos, the titan of time. Quite a common theme when it comes to mythology based games. And she won't be alone in this epic quest. She's going to be joined by none other than Hecate, the goddess of witchcraft, and of course various other Olympian gods and figures throughout. If you're a bit rusty on Greek mythology, I was, I did have to look her up, Melanoi is a chthonic nymph and a sister of sorts according to the myths. So in Hades 2 we're going to be taking control of her effectively as the princess of hell, and she's going to be on a rescue mission that doubles as an assassination. Quite a cool undertaking. The trailer for Hades 2 had my cogs turning upstairs as I was trying to figure out what we're going to see in the setting here. And it seems like we might be in for a reverse version of the first game. Picture this, you're going to be descending through hell rather than try to escape it, and you're going to start from the surface going toward Tartarus. It's just one theory, and it could be that the final incarnation is somewhat different, but it does seem to be the case uh, in, in from what I can see. It's going to be set sometime after Zagreus' escapades, and Hades 2 is going to be a direct sequel entrenched in the Greek myth that was uncovered in the first game. The center of attention is Kronos, the Titan of Time, the wicked father to Hades and his brothers, and he's escaped from the underworld and he's waging a war on Olympus. An interesting tidbit that's been picked up is according to a super giant developer, the figure we see chained up in the trailer is none other than Hades himself. So it does lend credence to this narrative where Melanoi is on a mission to set him free and confront Kronos in the process. 
So in Hades, we're not just going to be exploring the depths of the underworld, we're going to once again be diving into family ties, mythical conflicts, and maybe the very fabric of time itself. It seemed like a very captivating tale, and I cannot wait to see how this one unfolds. Alright, let's shift our focus to the beating heart of Hades 2, the gameplay. Like its predecessor, Hades 2 is going to be a roguelike dungeon crawler, but this time we're, we're in for an even grander mythical underworld. Supergiant is teased that the new realm will not only be larger, but also introduce fresh locations, challenges and upgrade systems. Our protagonist, Melanoi, is not just going to be another sword wielding hero, she is a witch and a sorceress armed with powerful magical abilities and what Supergiant describes as deadly skill with shadowy weapons. Sounds pretty intriguing. And I've seen from the debut trailer, her moves in combat seem pretty mesmerizing to me. You're gonna expand, for, you're gonna navigate through this expanded underworld and face off against the forces of the Titan of Time. You're not gonna be alone of course, you're gonna have the powers of Olympus imbuing your abilities and magic as you go, just like in the first game. But Hades 2 is going to promise a new set of challenges and locations, so the underworld is not just going to be confined to what we knew in the first game, it's going to be a vast and evolving landscape where you are eager to explore every nook and cranny. So get ready for a roguelike experience that is bigger, bolder and mythical in its scope. And with Melanoi's arsenal of shadowy weapons and magic, we're definitely going to be in for a thrilling ride. Now let's talk about how you can get your hands on Hades 2 and where that will be. So following the trail blazed by its predecessor, the sequel is gearing up for an early access release and it will be in quarter 2 of 2024. It will be hitting both the Steam and Epic Game stores as well. For me, early access is not just a chance to play, but also give your feedback and contribute to its development. However, I do understand some people hate it, so you will just have to wait for the full launch in that instance. Supergiant is making a promise though that the early access will have as much content as the original did when that launch, launched into early access on Steam as well. And there you have it, LT Gamers. We've journeyed through the realms of Hades 2, from its enticing backstory to its promises of gameplay and the exciting news of the early access release. The underworld awaits us. If you're as hyped as I am for this sequel in one of the most engaging games in recent memory, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up and ring the notification bell. We're growing really fast right now and we're super excited to bring you more and more content. This is Tom from LT Gaming signing off. I'll see you guys in the underworld. Bye bye now.